Okay, so this video is going to show you how you can update easily from Mac OS X Lion on a PC or a virtual machine on 10.7.1 to 10.7.2. And basically, what I'm going to do is every time there's a new release of Lion, so 10.7.3, 10.7.4, etc., um, I'm going to release a package. Um, you can see there's one right here for 10.7.2, which has all the stuff in that you need to, you know, get it working properly. So anything that breaks the update or any kind of bugs that come into play afterwards, um, they'll be fixed by a package, which I should bring out every time. So if you want to keep an eye on those, you should um, you should subscribe to um, the website um, because they'll come up there faster than they do on YouTube. And basically, um, this video is going to show you how to use them. And they're all the same. Well, they will all be the same, ex like in process. So, so first things first. What you want to do is you want to download the update from Apple in DMG form. Um, don't do it via software update up here, you want to download it via Safari and have the DMG. So what you want to do is you want to then open up your DMG. Um, you can see, well you can't see, but I'm on Lion 10.7.1 at the moment and this is the 10.7.2 update. And you can see that I have my package here. So just wait for it to open. Now you have to make sure that you follow this video exactly because if you do any kind of thing wrong it can break your installation so be very very careful. And you just want to run the package for the update. Um, this is all fairly simple. You should know how to do this. So just continue, 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 agree and install. Right so let me just put my password in. There we go. And enter. So, whilst it's installing, I'm just going to pause my video because it takes a good 20 minutes or so um, because it's quite a large update. So, I will be back in a second. Okay, so once you get to this point, you want to make sure that you don't click restart down here and you want to open up the package um, that you've downloaded. And once it opens up, um, you just want to press continue and continue again and continue again. Um, just one thing to note is that that is the place to follow updates if you want to keep an eye on that. And just agree and then press install and then press continue. Okay, so you can see that it's successfully installed, and at this point, you can just go ahead and click restart. And it won't actually let you restart because the other one's still there, so you just have to click restart on both. And then, what you should get is you should get a machine that boots up properly, and it should work perfectly fine. Um, I'll just let it boot up to show you. Um, I'm actually using this in VMware, which is why I've got you know grey background and it's going to go to black in a second and everything. So, okay. So one thing to quickly mention is that this first boot up after the update does take a while but that's because of the update and not because of anything going wrong um, so just be patient with it and let it run through and don't 
jump to any conclusions that it's not working or anything. Okay, so there we go. Um, it's starting to boot. So let's just let it get into Mac. Um, it's probably going to take longer on mine than it will for you because I'm recording and everything, so it slows it down. But that's how it goes. And in a second, we should be in Mac. And don't worry about that. It's just changing my resolution and detecting it and everything. That's nothing going on. Okay, so um, it hasn't fully booted yet, which is because, you know, Finder's not there and everything. But you can see quite clearly here that um, mouse is working just fine. Um, there's no lag on the mouse at all. Um, iCloud is obviously here because it's the 10.7.2 update. And there you go. Um, that's how you do it. As I said, this will be updated for every new update that comes out. And other than that, there's nothing else to say. So. Remember to subscribe for each video as it comes out. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming up soon because I've been doing stuff fairly. Um, I've been doing quite a lot of stuff fairly recently, um, so they'll all be uploaded. Um, follow the website for the latest releases because they'll come out on there before they come out on YouTube. That's important to mention um, because obviously t making a video takes longer than just writing a quick paragraph on something. And yeah, other than that, comment if you have any problems, although you shouldn't do, um, it should work just fine. Um, so subscribe, like, everything else on YouTube, and thanks for watching. Um, I hope I was helpful, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, bye.